Hello and welcome. My name's Natalie Lawrence. Sometimes users will want to put their headings in the header area of a document. However, when they try to automatically create a table of contents, they'll find that those headings don't appear in that table. That's because Microsoft Word doesn't allow any headings in the header area to appear in the automatic table of contents list. However, all is not lost. You can use the TC field instead. Setting this up is different on Word for PC and Word for Mac, so I'm going to show both ways. First up is PC. Here's a document I'm working on. The TC field needs to be on the same page as the heading, and it needs to be in the body of the document, not in the header or footer. I'm going to put the cursor right at the beginning of the first paragraph. Go to Insert, click on the Explore Quick Parts button, then choose Field from the drop-down menu. Choose a TC field on the left-hand side. I'm going to type TC so I can get to that field more quickly. In the text entry box, type in the words you want to appear in the table of contents for this entry. You can copy and paste the words from your heading. You can also put in different words to your heading. This entry is case sensitive, so I'd recommend writing this in the case you want it to appear in. The next important thing to do is to set the outline level. Tick this box, then in the box on the right, you need to type in a number between one and nine. This tells the table of contents what level this entry should be in. This should be the top level for me, so it's level one. If you don't want a page number for this entry, tick the third option. If your entry appears in multiple tables, tick the first option. Press OK to finish. Here's a TC field. It is visible, but I'll address this in more detail in a moment. Now the TC field is in place, we can insert a table of contents. We're going to create a custom one. Then in the dialog box, click on the Options button. At the bottom of this dialog box, click the Table Entry Fields box and click OK twice. Here's a new entry. If you've already got a table of contents in your file, just select all of it, then repeat the last stage. Insert a new table of contents, turn on the table entry box, and then click OK when asked if you want to replace this table of contents. Once the table entry box is ticked, you can update the table of contents as normal. You don't have to keep replacing the table. Just right click it, choose update field in the shortcut menu, and choose how you want to update it. If you have more TC fields to add after this, again, just update the table as normal and choose to update the entire table. Before we move on, let's address the TC field being visible. If you have the show hide command turned on, hidden text like TC fields will become visible. Switch that command off and the code is now hidden. The code shouldn't print with the rest of the file, however it's best to check your word options, especially if you can still see the TC field even after the show hide command is switched off. Go to File, then Options, then Display, and then review the Hidden Text checkbox. Turn it off if you don't want hidden text like TC fields to permanently be shown on screen. It's also worth looking at the section below in this dialog box and review the print hidden text box. Turn it off if you don't want to print the TC fields. Here's a document I'm working on in Word for Mac. The TC field needs to go on the same page as a first instance of the heading, in the body of a document, not in the header or footer area. 
I'm going to place my cursor at the beginning of the first paragraph. Go to the Insert tab and press the Insert a Field button and a dialog box will appear where you can find the TC field. In Field Names on the right, type TC and then click in the wide box below. Sadly, the Mac version of Word forces users to insert the code manually, so here's what you need to do. First, type in the text you want to use in quotation marks. You can make this identical to your heading or not. The entry is case sensitive, so write your entry in the case you want to use. Next, click on the Options button. You'll need to add a switch to your field. These are effectively the three options that you can add to your field. You will need to add the L switch, which tells Word what outline level this entry should be, i.e. is this the top level entry in your table of contents, so level 1, or is it another level? You can choose any number between 1 and 9. Place the cursor after your last quotation mark, add a space, and then double click the L option. Put the cursor back in the wide box, and after the space, type the number you want. My entry is going to be level 1, so I type 1. If you want to add the other switches, for example, if you didn't want a page number for this entry, you need to add another space, then double click the N option. Remember there must be a space before the backslash. If your entry is going to be in multiple tables, add a space and then the F switch. I only need the L switch, so when I'm done, I press OK twice. Here's a TC field. It's hidden text. It's only visible because I have the show hide command on. Switch it off and it disappears. If you still see the code after switching the show hide command off or you want to make sure it doesn't print, go to Word, then Preferences, go to View, and then make sure hidden text is unchecked in the second section. Click on show all and go to print and make sure hidden text and field codes are unchecked in the last section. Now we can do the last step, which is generate the table of contents. We have one here already, so we need to select all of it first. If you don't have a contents table yet, you can of course skip this part and start from the next step. Go to References, press the Table of Contents button, choose Custom Table of Contents and then press the Options button. Tick the Table Entry Fields button and press OK twice. If this is the first time you're inserting a contents table, you won't see this question, which is fine. If you're replacing an existing one, answer yes to replace the table. Here's a new entry. Now once that table entry box is ticked, you can add more TC fields to your documents and you only have to update your contents table normally by right clicking it choosing Update Field and then Update Entire Table. You don't have to keep selecting and replacing the whole table and ticking that box again. And there we are, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching and if you found it useful, please hit the like button. Please do subscribe as well if you'd like to see more videos in the future. And do feel free to leave a comment, especially if you have any suggestions of other videos or any other issues in Word that you would like some help with.
In the meantime, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you back here soon. Thank you.